it will be from thumb. So thumb it is quite thick compared to others. Others are tubular bone, small tubular bone here, yes, and this is what thumb one is quite thicker, and the upper part will be called base, middle part is called shaft of body, and the part which is attaching with the phalanx will be called apex. Clear? And as we have seen also in our leg here, metacarpophalangeal joint, the first one will be having usually one or two sesamoid bones, like in the leg we have. Yes, I, I explained about that, first trigonum in the leg, yes, and other sesamoid bones. Yes, you can see over here. So it is attaching, and you see, compared to others, the first metacarpal bone will be coming and attaching on the lateral surface, and the base is quite what shape? Saddle shape. So saddle joint, you remember I explained first class, yes? Saddle joint will be first, yes? Carpometacarpal joint, because this metacarpal is joining where trapezoidium, you can see, yes? So trapezoidium is connecting over there, the small part, and the most lateral part will be what? Trapezium, yes? So trapezium and trapezoidium little will be giving, and this base will be having a surface which will look like saddle. Saddle is what? You know in horse you put this thing, yes? So horse will be like this, yes? The thing you will be putting over here to sit. This is called saddle, yes? Saddle. So the base of first metacarpal will go and attach easily on the what round surface which is formed by trapezium and on inside it will be little bit what it will be poking into trapezoidium. So it gives a big surface and you see it from upper part both of them will be like looking like saddle. So saddle like this. So you can sit on saddle and you can move. That's why compared to this joint, this joint is having Good freedom. What you can do over here? You can do flexion extension. Yes? And abduction, adduction. Both joints. And you can also together do what? You can move like circumduction. Why? This is a saddle joint. Because the base is having saddle shape like this. And also it is connecting with the broad, broad surface of trapezial bone little bit it is entering into trapezoidal bone, so it is forming a proper saddle joint. So it is giving better freedom compared to others. Now you go to second, third, yes, fourth, fifth, they are attaching to it where, so next one is trapezium, trapezoidium, capitulum, and the last one will be hame. So here they are getting surface which is not giving a saddle appearance, so here their movement is quite restricted. Clear? Yes? Next time will be what you can see it is similar to what we studied in the leg. It is called what? So, metocarpal, so it is phalangeal. So, there will be three phalangeal bones except for thumb. Thumb will be having two phalangeal bones, only proximal and distal. Here it will be, it will be what? Proximal, intermediate, and distal. And this part is called base, shaft, and apex. So, these joints will be called what? Proximal, interphalangeal joint. Yes, and this will be called distal interphalangeal joint. And these will be smaller ones, again, distal phalangeal bones, and which I explained you what the distal, most distal part will protrude like tuberosity. It is similar to our leg bone. So we call it what? Tuberosity of phalanx. Clear? So understood? Yes? So we have very special one, which is thumb. Just compare the legs, this is okay. This is the best one because we our hand became what organ of labor, we have to do a lot of things. For example, holding pen, yes, holding like this, opposite. Yes, flexion. Flexion means here you are flexing. Together here also it's two joints are connected. Abduction, adduction, only one joint, this joint. So it is giving what? Full movement because it's a saddle joint. Clear? Yes? Okay. So you can see. Yes, distal and proximal phalangeal joint, and you can see what we will be having over here. This is called carpal metacarpal joint, and this one is not flexion. What is this? Sesamoid bone. Clear? Sesamoid bone. That's why you should keep it in mind, otherwise, you will think it's a flexion. Yes? The first one is quite thicker. Yes? <clears throat> and what else you should keep it in mind? Now you can go to the line and see. So they are holding the hand this way. Yes? So this is what? Scaphoid bone, and you go this way. Yes? And second one is? And PC form bone is overlapping 
trifederal bone. So pisiform is looking much whiter than outer side. So outer rim is what trifederal bone. Clear? It is overlapping. <coughs> Next one you can see what other line starting from thumb side. What is this? Trapezium. Trapezoidium. Capitulum is a bigger bone and thumb atrium. Yes. Now you can see over here it is giving a big surface. Here and little bit it is coming near to the trapezoidium. So this is saddle joint. That's why this movement. Clear? And you can see this is what? Radius is bigger and ulnar is smaller. And this surface is what? This is wrist joint. Wrist joint. Yes? Carpo metacarpal joint. In this intercarpal joint. Yes? And here metacarpo phalangeal joint. Clear? And you can see over here which we have shown you. And this is what? One bone, <coughs> scaphoid bone, and this is scaphoid bone fracture. Yes? Scaphoid bone fracture. What is this? It's looking what deformity? Table fork deformity. Table fork deformity, like this. Yes? What is this fracture? Collis fracture. This is Collis fracture. Understood? So this is scaphoid fracture. You can see the line running through here. Yeah? Collis fracture. Next clinics which I will show you. This is fifth metacarpal. Yes? What is this fracture? Usually it will be called boxer's fracture. Yes? First day boxer will go, I want to practice and then punch first. What will happen? You can see this is what? Proximal phalangeal joint. And this is what? This is fifth metagava. Yes? First day you go that I am practicing, you punch very hard. Yes? The first pressure which is given over here, if it is very high, it will break the apical part of fifth metagava bone. Sometimes it might break many other bones, but most commonly, which is broken, fifth metagava bone. So this is called what? We call it boxer's fracture. Boxer's fracture. Understood? Okay. okay, so for tomorrow at 2 o'clock, you will have a small exam. Yep. African food. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's going to be exam on, on only uh, the bones what you studied with kids. So read the book which, you, which we gave you. This book is not enough. Okay. If you read that which I told you, Werner Plaster, volume, volume 1 I gave you, you have to read. With that clinical anatomy, you read it because it will be clinical also. So it will be about uh, 20 questions, just anatomy, and five questions will be clinical. Only five questions. Okay. Both. Only both. Only both. I will not ask like so. Yes.